This is Miss Lynn with Early Literacy Matters. And if you would like to do an alphabet review with your three and four year olds, you're in the right place. This is an interesting book. This was written by Stephen T. Johnson. And I say written because it has a title, Alphabet City, two words, but there are no words in this book other than some letters of the alphabet. He went around and took pictures around a city. And let's see if you can identify the letters in each picture. Here we go. Alphabet City. We're repeating the title of the story. Not really a story, a picture book. Can you see a letter in this picture? What is it? Can you see that it's part of a construction site? Can you see the uppercase letter A? Here it is. Pretty interesting what you can see walking around the city. How about this picture? Can you see the letter B in the fire escape? If you're not sure what a fire escape is, it's these set of stairs that starts here and ends down here. And here, is the letter B. How about the letter C? What do you think this building is? I think it might be a church. Can you see the letter C? Oh, how about letter D? If you said letter D was the outline of the flower garden, you would be correct. How about E? Here's a signal light that we see all the time when we're driving around. Do you see the uppercase letter E? There it is. A standing line and one, two, three lying down lines. Oh, how about the letter F? Do you see the letter F in this picture? That one's a little bit more difficult. Can you see it? And do you know what that is? That is a water tower. And here is the letter F. Ooh, this is a hard one. I had a lot of difficulty finding the uppercase letter G. Do you see the uppercase letter G? Here is a street light and right here is the uppercase letter G that says G, G, like go. Oh, how about H? Can you see H? What does the letter H say? Do you remember? Letter H says ha, ha, like happy or hamburger. Here is the letter H. Two standing lines and a lying down line. How about I? That one's pretty apparent. I saw that one right away. What is it? It's a sign outside of a restaurant or a theater. It has a lying down line 
and a lying down line and a standing line. The letter I, the uppercase letter I, for I, I, igloo or I, I, ice cream. Oh, what letter now? Do you see that letter? That looks like part of a cart. Letter J. There it is. It has a standing line and a line that curves around the uppercase letter J. How about K? Can you see K? There it is. Pipes going all different directions. Letter K. For kangaroo. L. Letter L. Do you see letter L? That's a hard one. The side of the building is a standing line. And then here's a lying down line for the uppercase letter L. How about M? That's a famous bridge. That's called the Brooklyn Bridge. Can you see the letter M in the Brooklyn Bridge? N. N for noodle. Or nurse. That's a hard one. There's the uppercase N, a standing line, a slanted line down to the right, a standing line again, and then again over here, the letter N. Ooh, how about the letter O? Do you see letter O in that picture? It's a bench, but I see the letter O right there. And how about P? There are two letters P in that picture. P, P for penguin. There's the letter P, standing line and a line that curves and another one here. Letter Q. Letter R. This one's hard to see. Can you see letter R? It's a crack in the pavement. Here's letter R. A standing line, a curvy line, and another diagonal line. R for railroad. How about S? S is on the top of the building. How about T? The letter T is between the buildings. There it is, there's the letter T for turtle. U for umbrella or unicorn. T. Sorry, not T, V. W. What is that one? X. Y. And 
means Z. Z is another fire escape. Can you see the letter Z? For zoo? All right, I hope you enjoyed that book of pictures around the city. Take a walk with your family. See what letters you can discover by walking around your neighborhood. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.